looking at number three tonight, Detroit's mayor making a big announcement today. He says nearly 20,000 abandoned homes across the city will all be demolished in the coming years. 7 Action News reporter Rudy Harper is live at City Hall now with more on what this means. Rudy. Glenda, right now the city is using federal dollars to tackle some of the blight in Detroit, but it comes with restrictions. The mayor here at City Hall says with city funding, Detroit will be blight free by 2024. This is terrible. It's terrible. Anybody can get hurt. Neighbors in Detroit's Candle Park community say vacant properties are a nuisance. And if it doesn't take that much to get a bulldozer and knock it down, knock it down. I just have to watch it. Um, it has been set on fire before. Angela Jenkins Rogers says the house next door has been abandoned for three years. She worries it could be a death trap for curious school children a few blocks away. Not only is it a site for sore eyes, is actually an endangerment. We're going to take down 4,000 houses a year, uh, and in five years, by the end of 2024, we will not have a single abandoned house in any neighborhood in the city of Detroit. Mayor Duggan says he wants to knock down 18,000 homes starting in 2020. The blue dots here represent prospective houses across Detroit up for demolition. The mayor will ask voters to support a $200 million blight removal bond. But longtime resident Rod Hester says with progress comes panic. You can't build businesses over here on this because of the residential code. They, they're not putting new houses in. While the mayor wants to start with a clean slate, some neighbors are skeptical that empty lots alone can revitalize communities. Tearing them up is cool, but if you don't put nothing back, it's going like to look like a war zone. And the mayor says this bond will not increase taxes. This project will also support renovation of houses that can be saved. The mayor hopes to have this on the ballot come 2020. That's a presidential ballot. Live at City Hall, I'm Rudy Harper, 7 Action News.